Hello everybody, this is Tekka. In this video, what I am going to be doing is talking about Discourse, probably the best free and open source forum software that you can use, as well as my instance for using it, which is the Tech Hut forum. Now with that, if you're at all in the Linux community, you're jumping around through forums, chances are you've been on a Discourse forum. Example of this, if I go forum Manjaro, this is a discourse forum. I believe Mozilla Firefox uses discourse forums. Ubuntu uses discourse forums. Code Academy and a lot of other things use this software. And that's because overall it's just feature rich, simple to use, simple to configure, set up, install plugins, things like that. And it's actually pretty simple to install. I have a whole separate tutorial over on the Linode channel that goes over the installation process step by step, command by command, if that's something you're interested in. But getting it set up is pretty easy. You do need to use this on a uh, on a cloud service provider like Linode, DigitalOcean, something like that, that you're gonna be able to use a VPS and have your own IP address and dedicated instance. If you're interested in an alternative that you could use on shared hosting, I'll go ahead and leave a link down below if you're interested. But with that, the main thing is I am trying to get people on here to test this out and um, get me through the beta process of the Tech Hut form. To me, using this form is going to be a way to keep articles up to date, have a little bit more community discussion around certain guides and things like that. You can see I've had this posted on the Discourse for, or Discord server for a while, and I've had some people on here, like we have our uh, installing Arch uh, Linux with ArchFi, full guide with everything you need to know, and then we have some community feedback. Everything is organized into these different categories, so we have community, builds and setups, guides and tutorials. A guide that's over here is the how to install DaVinci Resolve in, uh, in Linux guide, which goes over all these different Linux distributions and everything like that. So basically the guides that are gonna be posted on the uh, forms are gonna be things that I don't think need to be posted directly on techcut.tv which this is another thing I'm working on that we will be talking about later. And there's some cool things we're doing with the forums here. One thing that I'm really trying to integrate is very popular like terminal color schemes within the actual form software. So this that I'm using right now is the Nordic theme or the light theme. So if I go over here and go to the menu, you could see I have Nordic and Dracula. Dracula is actually the default look for form.techcut.tv. And we're gonna be adding some more soon. So if you do join, be watching out for additions here. And as we do add more uh, color schemes, we're gonna go ahead and post those in the announcements. Another thing that if you've been uh, following the channel and you've been hit, clicking those links in the description, a lot of the theming videos link to the forms as they currently are, and all the replies are gonna be in Markdown, so it's a pretty easy thing to figure out. If you use Discord or anything like that, you probably know a little bit of Markdown. And so far, everything's working pretty good. The one thing I'm still working on is trying to get the uh, activation emails not to go to the spam folder, but at the moment, you can sign up with Twitter and GitHub, and I'm gonna be adding a couple more before I publish this video. So I do recommend you doing that instead of just a straight email activation, but if you do, check your spam folder. It's probably in there. If I go over to the menu here, one the one thing that's kind of cool, there's a whole bunch of keyboard shortcuts if that's something you're interested in. But if we go over to admin, I can actually kind of show you what this looks like on this end if you're somebody who's interested in, in installing your own. Here we have our community health, so you actually get some statistics built into it so you don't technically need to set up anything like Google Analytics so you're implausible, which I do have set up anyways. So all kinds of different metrics and cool things and trending search terms, so people are actually using that search box on the homepage a little bit, but it's getting used, which is nice. If I scroll up here, we have our settings. And this is where you could go ahead and change everything. I don't wanna to dive too far into some of this because I don't wanna accidentally show something that I shouldn't show, but everything's pretty easy to figure out. And actual discourse their own forms, it has a huge community with a whole bunch of people helping out and all kinds of plugins. If I actually go into plugins here, you could see some of the things we have. We have the a bunch of the default stuff, but in addition, we have who's online, solved. So if somebody asks a question, the asker of that question can mark it as solved. We have reactions. So instead of just a like, you have various reactions. You can use lots of cool things here that you could either check out on our forms or do for yourself. If we go over to customize here, you can kind of see what we're doing here. We have the Dracula theme and Nordic theme, which this is actually just a fork of this that I changed the color scheming to. It does take a little bit of tinkering to actually get familiar with how the customization actually works. 
but it's pretty cool overall. And then if we go over two colors, these are the color scheming or the color schemes that I've created for uh, Dracula and Nordic. And by created, I mean I've copied these codes from the actual official pages of these. And I actually have color schemes selected by users disabled because I have it linked to the theme, so it's easy to change the color scheming here. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch this back. Now I'm not gonna go too much deeper into this. Go ahead, join if you would like to. Uh, help us test it out. It, it is in beta, there's still some things we need to do, like I go under other tech about this category. It has some default stuff that I still need to go and change. But even if you all wanted to help out, and for example, if you replied to this with like what you think should be there, that would be helpful. Uh, anything is awesome. Let me know what you guys think, and I will be linking to that video that I did for Linode going over how to install this on the uh, pinned comments down below and also in the description. Uh, so with all that said, this website is made possible and ad-free by our YouTube members and Patreon supporters. So thank you to Mitchell Valentino, Sledgehammer, Phil Mac, Kyle, Timo Anthony, Chris Curtis. You guys are awesome. And the likelihood that this will remain ad-free going into the future is very, very high. So thank you guys so much for that. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you have an absolutely beautiful day. Check out our forums and goodbye.